Greetings to the, uh, YouTube. Today we're looking at Dragon. This is a face-to-face -face book. Um, this is face, get face-to-face -face with creatures from myths and legends. We start out with a very classic Western dragon. What are dragons? A discussion of what makes a dragon. Evil dragons. Heroes and dragon slayers. The Lambton Worm. More Dragon's Revenge. Beowulf. I always thought of the Dragon and Beowulf as being a little bit bigger. And again, this is the same illustration as the front cover. A bit more of a context in that one. A little more cartoony look on that Dragon. Guarding the Treasure. And the classic, I'm going to slay you. And the Dragon is like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Get me more of a, a smog thing going on there. And there's the, the golden fleece. Riven dragon is back when people saw every river as having a protective uh, spirit. Here we have Heracles going after the Hydra. Cutting the heads off isn't going to be useful. Then we have dragon parts. We're discussing here drag creatures that have dragon-like characteristics but are not proper dragons themselves. And this, of course, is the griffin. And we have the classic chimera. It's a good illustration of a chimera. More of a cockatrice, kind of a, a dragon going on there. That's nasty looking. There's a more of a traditional cockatrice. And we have giant octopus, which is here we have a true sea serpent or sea dragon. And we have some eastern dragons. Lungs, I believe they're called. No, Cobra Dragon, that's kind of cool. The Aurobus. More Western style dragon. And then there's a list of famous particular dragons from actual myths. That's kind of cool. Then we have our index. So this is a useful little book, both as inspiration for people that want to do art and looking and GMs looking for inspiration for monsters and illustrations just to show their players. So an excellent book. And again, this is from face to face. I believe that's an entire line of books. I need to hunt some more of those down, I think.